The one thing Yili could be thankful for was the fact she apparently hadn't done any further physical damage. If her feet or ankles were broken, she couldn't feel them. She could move. She could use her hands. And for whatever reason, it was a little easier to see while laying on the opposite bulkhead. Above, she could see the breach in the corvette hull. The boat had apparently hit the surface at about a 70-degree roll to port. The starboard hull was above ground. The rest of the ship was beneath the surface. The structure appeared to be intact, but Yili knew she couldn't rely on assumptions. The engineer knew something had to be done about her feet, or she wasn't going to survive. Crawling from bulkhead to bulkhead in near-freezing temperatures wasn't going to do anything except hasten her oxygen deficiency and fatigue. Yili needed heat and air and she needed to re-establish some kind of structural integrity for Copernicus I. From there she could work towards a solution to the bigger problems, like the location of her crew.